sooner than right now and faster than immediately. But there are some questions that Jesus is going to want to know when he get here. Good God Almighty, we say we're the body of Christ. We say we love the Lord. We say we're living like God wants us to live. But there are some things that the master is going to require of you when he breaks the horizontal of time. When he comes out of eternity and steps over in the time. The master got some questions that he got to ask. He's got some things that he that, that, that he want to know from you. He got one or two things that he want to ask you. The first thing that he want to know for you is what did you do with the gift of time that I gave you? What did you do with your time? What did you do with your time? Did you spend your time wisely? Did you use this time I gave you for the advancement of the kingdom of God? Did you use this time to show love in spite of? Did you use this time to speak life and not death? Did you use this time to be productive in the kingdom of God? What did you do with the time I gave you? Because see, I fashioned time for you. See, you had everything that you need in eternity. But I just wanted to make sure you were in this place because of the fish in the loaf. I wanted to make sure that you were here truly because you love me. Truly because you believe me. Truly because you cherish me. What did you do with your time? And so I created a space in infancy. Amen. I created a space for you to walk out. I'm a shire, your place in time. Can I tell you something in here this evening? That that ye who you yield your members to in time is who you gonna serve in eternity. That who you worship in time and how you live in time will determine where you spend eternity. Can I whisper that in your soul tonight? What are you doing with your time? Are you keeping up mess and confusion? Are you spreading love? Or are you spreading lies? Are you keeping up rumors and discord? Can somebody come and tell you what's really going on in their house? And don't have to worry about sister such and such and sister much and much knowing your business before you leave our house. What are you doing with your time? Do your children know what you're doing with your time? Can your friends understand what you're doing with your time? Are you making any time for God in time? Ah, y'all ain't said nothing in here. I feel like preaching already. Are you making time for God in time? Are you just getting up acting like God owe you something? What are you doing with your time? Are you tipping in the church?
rocking. And when I swing and dip and jump and pop, amen, I got somebody looking at me. And so by the end of the night, I'm going wake my eye. I already got the night thing already lined up. You got some folk that are pep the pattern of God. Because they understand that gifts and callings come without repentance. But how can I help you with something that you will be able to see in the spirit in hell? Can I help you with something? Good God Almighty, you'll still have it. And in hell, there's a special place designed for the folk of God that had a call, a mandate, and a purpose and decided to do other things but what God said. Oh yeah, there's some preachers going to hell. Come on, we might as well just be 110 tonight. There's some folk that say bye 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 shot. Come to the bus here. And they're gonna be right in hell. This gonna be the same one that every folk that you thought ought have made it in. Gonna be busting hell wide open because it was in their mouth, but it wasn't in the spirit. It was on their tongue, but it wasn't in their life. I'm a shy I feel God in here tonight. They was walking light and had a big Bible and had a big cross, but they had no fruit. They had never to say that I'm really living what I say. That I'm practicing what I preach. That I live holy and consecrated. Where are your fruit? What did you do with the talent God gave you? Did he use it for the advancement of the kingdom? Can you look back and say that while I was up preaching, somebody gave their life to God. While I was prophesying and my option of the Holy Ghost, that it Such and such much in 
because of his attitude. While the ark of the covenant was at his house, everything in his house was blessed. Everybody in his house was blessed. Everything that was connected to him was blessed. What are you saying, apostle? You better check your attitude at the door. You don't know how God is trying to get you blessed. You better use your talent for the advancement of the kingdom. Because you don't know what God is doing. Because he's looking for somebody to be blessed. He's looking for somebody to show him something. He's looking for somebody to show him something. What are you doing with your time? Yeah. 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 Come on in here, somebody. 